Hi everybody, it's Mark here. Now, before we start the video, I just want to remind you, this is your last chance to enter the HR Sports giveaway for my 10,000 subscriber. We're less than 100 to go, and I think we're gonna pass this by the end of November. Uh, I'm gonna do a live stream to announce it. For all the subscribers, I put a question up on YouTube. You can ask me any questions that I can answer at the live stream, where we'll be giving this away, but also using some of the time to celebrate what has been a journey to get to 10,000 subscribe, all the people I've interacted with, and just to celebrate that. So HR Sports, if you remember, gave me these gloves and this bat and this bat did have engraving on it but I have turned it into a scoop and created my own stickers for it it's all fully knocked in it's all you have to do is comment on the video that I'm pointing to make sure you're a subscriber and like that video and you're in with a chance if you live overseas make sure you're prepared to cover the difference in costs because I'm only prepared to cover freight within Australia for this and there might be other things we will be doing during the live stream but let's get on with the video thanks Okay, so you've seen this bat before, but this is actually gonna be the new model. I'll switch over. So we have a brand new GM players bat in. This comes from Craig. He's local to South Australia. He's actually supplied two bats for me to review. And this is the latest Ben Stokes player edition. So if I hold that up for you, you'll see the signature there. Again, it's a diamond different colors from the one I did previously. I'll put the link to that up in the corner. And this has come from Kingsgrove. Brand new case this time. So these are their player edition cases. You may have seen these uh, on the GM website. I'm gonna go through some of that stuff. Uh, again, nice quality. Uh, I did go on about how I liked the Kookaburra case. And GM have never been slouches with their cases. Same sort of thing going on here, fully molded with the handle. That seems to give a bit more protection. I'll move that out of the way. Okay, so the story of this bat is interesting. What Craig has said is that he owned uh, some really nice GMs and always used GMs uh, when he was playing, but his job took him all around the world and uh, he left his bats at his parents' place who lived in Newcastle. Unfortunately, they got flooded out when we had the floods last year, so the insurance offered him money or replacement and he opted for replacement and he actually got two bats and this is one of them on a like for like basis which i think is a pretty good deal so this has come from kingsgrove so i'll just go there and uh, open that side up uh we've got the profile there you can flick that around it's saying here 1295 that's the bat there uh, what are they saying here? Made to the exact specifications of England cricketer Ben Stokes. GM player edition are made from very select timber, so they are made in limited numbers, hand selected and tested at the factory to ensure quality. Harry Solomon says, unbelievable, can't guarantee you will bat like Ben, but these bats sure will help, absolutely superb. So we've got here 210 to 211, which would be his weight. Finest grade one English willow, full no concaving, mid 555 millimeter length blade. The normal diamond is a 540, so you know that this is a player's edition. And the spine says up to 65, edges up to 40. Now, I also had a look on the GM website. And so they've got that one out of stock for 749 pounds. Just hang on a sec. Hey Google, how much is 750 UK pounds in Australian dollars? So there you go, $1,320. Obviously with the English Prime Minister resigning, that's fixing the UK pound, which has been pretty low lately. And last one I want to see was GM Australia. Now they priced the bat at $13.99, which would be in line with what the UK pricing is. So that actual Kingsgrove price there of $12.95 is actually a pretty good bargain. Uh, and it looks like they've still got one left. It obviously won't be this one that I'm reviewing today. So we have done the, um, the GM Diamond before uh, and you can go and have a look at that review. I do think that this would be fa fairly similar. Now, full disclosure, this bat unfortunately had a few shop dings in it and things like that. And I have done a bit of a steaming and polishing for Craig just to say thanks for leaving the bats with me because I've actually hung on to them for a few weeks. First impression of the bat is, I'm not really fond of the color scheme. I, I'm not really into the sky blue to black. But, but this is new, the BS55. If you know what the 55 means, please tell me, because I've got no clue. 
Obviously that's his signature laser engraved into the bat. You can see that there. That's just like we had on the previous one. And the profile looks similar, but I can't tell to the bat that I won. If you do remember, I won a bat from my cricket gear. It was a Ben Stoke. I actually sold it to pay for bits and pieces for the channel. Uh, I spent a lot of money on the channel, so. And you know, a bat of this quality is really wasted on a batsman of my quality. Lying if I said Twilight, uh, I actually have had my first net session this week in 18 months. I sort of gave up cricket for a year with all the COVID stuff. Me owning a bat like this is a waste of a good bat. Now, first impressions, the finest grade one Willow. I'm very surprised for GM for this particular bat to have so few grains. Uh, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I would have thought nine to 10 would have been the minimum for a, a player's edition. I'm not quite sure what's going on there. You know, when the insurance company went in, we'll buy two bats, you give us two bats and uh, Kingsgrove just went, yeah, right, let's pick up the the uh, the ones that we're going to have trouble with. No, I don't know. But my first impression is this isn't up to the standard of what I would call limited edition uh, GM Willow. We've got a little bit of a blemish down here, which is outside the playing area, a little bit of spec. The, the players' edition bats, the LEs, have always been, you know, the premium Willow as not only in terms of ping, but also in terms of look. Yes, there's no doubt this does have some very distinct grains. You can see them uh, quite clearly. Uh, and if I hold the bat this way, you can see a four there. You can see that those grains are nice and straight running through the willow. So I have no doubt that this is actually good quality willow, but maybe this is just where we're going with willow these days. I have heard reports that because of warming in the UK and things like that, the willow is growing faster. Faster it grows, the wider the grains become. Does that impact its playability? Not necessarily, because the faster it grows, means there's more moisture in it, means that the secondary drying, the kiln drying they can do, can extract a little bit more moisture, give you a slightly lighter weight, possibly. And obviously these are all performance tested in the, in the factory, so. They're not going to put the stickers on them unless they're absolutely sure, but they do cut them to a particular profile. So they have sort of committed themselves before they've cut the bat to this piece of willow. Talking about stickers. So once again, with GM, always good quality stickers. Uh, some of the best they moved in the last few years to these clear, uh, clear ends here, which can get little bubbles under them. It's why they can look a little bit uh, dirty there, but um, they're all embossed you've got gm dxm written in there and uh, they look good you know these are actually manufactured in the uk they're not manufactured offshore we will roll down the grip because this is a new bat and as usual all gm bats have stunning binding and this is no exception we can see here a stamp that says okay uh, obviously agreeing the Video is going okay at the moment. There's an S there, probably represents the person who um, did the quality assurance on it, or maybe stickered it up. This is the uh, hex grip. Most recent GM grip that I had, uh, I had on three of my bat, two of my bats, and I was really, really disappointed at how quickly it actually perished. I've got bits of it in the bin behind me. So the hex grip sort of adds a little bit of texture to it. Some ridges that, that pretty much feel okay in the hands. They seem to uh, help with the grip of the fingers, sort of depending on where you want to put them. They actually seem to locate quite well. These would be pretty grippy as far as your gloves would go. The handle itself is not as thick as recent GM handles that I've had. So obviously that's to his specification. Player wanting something more in that medium range and round at the top, I would say that's slightly semi-oval at the uh, bottom hand. Obviously like all GM bats, they come pre-scuffed. Uh, I always use good quality scuff. The stickers go over the scuff and then they do their toe guard on the bottom. So the English ones come like that. Sometimes the Australian ones didn't uh, in the past. Uh, and they're normally good quality toe guards that don't come off. And you can see they've trimmed these 
right to the edge. I'd prefer not to go as close to the edge because if you're playing on synthetics that will actually uh, tear that bottom layer up and get dirt under there. To have a look at the profile shape, you can see here we've got definitely a full shape, no concaving. We're going to put the gauge over it and you can see there immediately we're sacrificing two to three mil on the top. It's going to come in under 60, 68, probably around 65. And on this side here, it's almost filling the gauge as far as the edge uh, height. It's going to be under the 41 and camber of the face is definitely around that four and a half to five millimetres. Check if Stokes is running with any bow and I don't really consider that bowed. There's a bit of a pressing bow going on there, but it's pretty much a regulation bat. It's not like a banana, like my Rob Pack or anything like that. So nothing like that in that shape. So let's jump straight to the spec. Starting at the shoulder, looks very narrow down here. 11.8. Uh, I'm going to check this side too. Identical, 11.8. And how much in the center of the splice? 34.4. So that's what I said, much more narrower handle. Uh, up here on the top of the edge. So that's about there is the top. 39.6. Down here at the edge of the toe, slightly rounded toe, 16.9, center of the toe, 20.7. So a lot of wood taken out down here, fairly pronounced duck bill you can see there going on. So, you know, quality player, he's not gonna be hitting uh, the toe, trying to belt with the toe of the bat. Uh, he'll be trying to hit in this sort of area here. Spine. 64.4, which is in line with what it said. We'll measure the width of the bat, see if there's anything going on there. Measure above the scuff on this side. 107.7, nothing wrong. And I'll turn it around. Measure on the back of the bat in the centre here. 107.2, that's, that's not really anything. Uh, love to hear your thoughts on the shape. We've already done this bat before. It's the bat that the player likes. So this is the bat that he can get made for him over and over again because GM use CNC manufacturing. They've got his design. They just have to pick out a piece of willow with the correct density and it will cut that, that profile for him automatically uh, using their proprietary uh, DXM cutting system uh, and then just handle it he'll get a bat within the same sort of weight range, same sort of feel, and he can take as many of them as he wants and never have to worry about it feeling slightly different. The worst thing you can have as a batsman, particularly if you're superstitious, is to have significant changes in the weight of your bat. And I imagine they can adjust his profile depending on what conditions he's playing in, where, where in the world, uh, if he needs it slightly lower or slightly higher. Now I'm gonna do the pickup test. I'll do that off camera. Having actually had a net this week, which was what, 24 balls long? I think this feels about 2.9.5 to 2.10, but it's got a very, very nice pickup because it's got so much weight taken out down at the toe. It'd be very interesting to see exactly what this weighs. So yeah, that uh, net did nothing for my accuracy as far as pickups. 211.7, nearly 212. I'm out by two ounces. But I've got to say, in fairness, my mate uh, Pete came around, I didn't test it, but he actually did his measurements, didn't say anything to me, and he just couldn't believe the pickup on it. He said, this is unbelievable, it's nothing like that. So there's two people, it doesn't matter what that dead weight says, uh, the bat feels nothing like that. And it's because it's got so much taken out of that toe, you're getting a really, really lovely pickup. Uh, so yeah, player bats, good quality willow. And um, obviously we're at the bleeding edge of profile design here. A little bit like a Formula One car, built to their maximum tolerance, what they can achieve without the thing falling apart. So very, very thin 
shoulders, very, very thin toe. All that wood in the meat of the bat, made in the UK, so not a significant drying. They're trying to sort of keep it in that, I guess, uh, 10 to 12% moisture. So we'll start at the toe. I'll use the flat side. Typical GM press. I do feel uh, GM presses on the firmer side and, and they've got to contend with Dukes and Readers and all these harder balls than we've got here in Australia, which the, you know, the Kookaburra and the, I guess the um, SGs are soft, but um, it pings, like it does actually ping really well. You can, you can see that. But you've just got to let these bats uh, play in properly to get the maximum out of them. They're not like your SS's, which are uh, can be a bit too soft pressed. They'll go like a gun for about six months and then start to delaminate, fall apart, and you know you're off to the shops to buy another bat. These bats can actually last you a fairly long time as long as you don't have issues with the handles. You know I wouldn't really recommend buying this player's edition if you're somebody who's trying to launch Yorkers out of the net, this is just going to end in disaster. Quality batsman, quality bat. You know, they're well-made bats. So thank you very much, Craig, for supplying the bat. I do appreciate that. So I've cleaned that up for you. So thank you very much, everybody. Do hope you enjoy what I do on the channel. And if you do, then send a like. There's all these little ways you can encourage me to keep going just by commenting, interacting with me, subscribing to the channel, follow the Facebook page. I'm on also on Instagram. Uh, just don't ask me to buy your bat or tell you what bat to buy. There's plenty of videos on the channel. Work it out for yourself. We'll see you on the next video, everybody.